What's up everybody, and welcome to another Pokemon character study. In this series of videos, I'm hoping to look at various characters across the Pokemon universe and break down the character and lore behind them and their various appearances in the anime, games, and manga. For this video's character, I'm going to be covering a person that has been requested numerous times by people in the comments of the last character study. The character is none other than Riley, who debuted in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. While Riley himself has appeared in the games, anime, and manga, he also has a counterpart, Sir Aaron, who has appeared in one of the Pokemon movies as well. Alrighty, let's dive right into Riley's appearances in the video games. Riley has appeared in all of the Generation 4 games, but his main appearance is in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. In those games, the player first meets Riley on Iron Island, where he says that he is training. In Pokemon Platinum, he gives the player the HM for strength right before going into the Iron Island Mine. Once inside the mine, the player can team up with Riley and venture through Iron Island battling other trainers. Eventually, Riley and the player will come across two Team Galactic Grunts, which Riley and the player beat easily. Once the player beats the Grunts, Riley offers a mysterious egg to the player, which when hatched will turn out to be a Ryolu. This is a fitting Pokemon for Riley to give an egg of, because on Iron Island, Riley himself uses only a Lucario in battles. What's interesting about Riley's battles and trainer style is that Riley is one of five trainers around Sinnoh who can join the player for a brief time and whose Pokemon excel at a specific stat. Fans have dubbed these trainers stat trainers and Riley's Pokemon are all high in the attack stat. The reason why I say Pokemon and not just Lucario is because you can actually encounter Riley in a number of other places besides Iron Island. He appears in the Sinnoh Battle Tower, the Johto Battle Tower, and the Battleground. In all of these places you can challenge him to a battle where he will use a variety of Pokemon, all with high attack stats. One of the more interesting things about the game version of Riley is that he is one of only a few trainers who are capable of utilizing Aura and its powers. Riley's intro animation suggests that he is capable of using Aura, and sometimes during battle he will comment and say, Your team, I can sense your strong Aura. Because the definition of Aura isn't really defined in the games, I'll be saving all of the information on Aura for when I talk about the other versions of Riley, which also use Aura and whose powers are defined a little bit better. Before we get to them though, there are a couple other important things you should know about the game version of Riley. One of the more mysterious things about Riley is that Riley refers to Iron Island as My Mine when talking to the Team Galactic Grunts in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. This would suggest that Riley owns Iron Island, or at the very least, owns the mine on the island. This dialogue is never referenced again, and what more, in Pokemon Platinum, the dialogue is actually changed from My Mine to The Mine. It seems likely that him referring to Iron Island's mine as His Mine in Diamond and Pearl was just a translation error that they fixed in Pokemon Platinum. His design does kind of remind me of wealthy individuals though, so I can see why people would mistranslate his dialogue to show him owning a mine or an entire island. On the topic of Riley's design, there's actually an interesting detail about it. At first glance, Riley's design seems pretty normal and standard, but the design of his necklace is actually the same pattern that Groudon has on its arm. I've looked into what this symbol means and I've come up with no results, so I'm almost positive that this is just a Pokemon World symbol with no ties to the real world. It's interesting that both Riley and Groudon have this symbol though, so it could be hinting at some sort of connection or relation between the two of them. The last big and interesting thing you need to know about the game version of Riley is that he was actually offered a gym leader position in Sinnoh. When on Iron Island, Riley says to the player, Have you met Byron, the leader of Canalave Gym? He asked me to become a gym leader, but there's his son to consider. Like most things regarding Riley, we don't get much information on this, but it would appear that sometime in the past, Byron had approached Riley on becoming a gym leader. Riley, being a total gentleman, passed up on the offer so Byron's son Rourke could take the gym leader position. Personally, I think Riley would be a lot cooler of a gym leader than Rourke, so I'm a little bit disappointed that Riley didn't take the gym leader position. I guess he just didn't have the stones for it. 
That covers everything we know about the game version of Riley, so let's jump to the manga version now. More specifically, the Riley that appears in Pokemon Adventure slash Special. There are many similarities between the game and Adventure's versions, but there are also a ton of differences. One of the main differences is that the Adventure slash Special version of Riley is a lot more important and integral to the plot than the game version is. Without spoiling too much, Riley is sent by Byron to train Diamond to further increase his battling skills. Riley takes Diamond to Iron Island, where the two of them train until they are interrupted by thugs who are hired by Team Galactic. Diamond defeats them, and Riley decides that Diamond has finally proven his skills and passed his test. Riley appears on many other occasions in the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum chapters, but in order to keep some sort of surprise around the story, in case somebody out there wants to read it, I won't be going into those details. What I do want to talk about, however, is Riley's aura abilities in the manga. While in the games, the concept of aura is never really explained, in the Pokemon Adventure slash Special manga, they go in depth about what exactly it is and how it can be used. It's described as a wave that certain humans and Pokemon can pick up on, very similar to sound in a way. Because Aura utilizes airspace, if there's a disturbance or something that cuts up the airspace around an Aura user, they will be unable to utilize any Aura-specific capabilities. Riley has appeared in a couple of other Pokemon mangas, the main one being Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Adventure, but his roles were rather insignificant and mostly revolved around him giving characters a Ryolu egg. The Pokemon Adventure slash special version of Riley is far more noteworthy than the other manga versions due to his aura abilities and slightly more significant role in the plot. I wish I could say more about his story in the Adventures manga, but I really don't want to spoil anything. Last but not least, we come to the third major version of Riley, the anime version. He appears in episodes 576, Stealing Peace of Mind, and 577, Saving the World from Ruins, of the anime, and like every other version, he's found on Iron Island and he looks pretty much the same as all the other versions of him. When he meets Ash, he says that he's been studying the Steel-type Pokemon on Iron Island because they've been acting strangely. It turns out that Team Galactic is actually on Iron Island, causing disruptions that are irritating the Steel-type Pokémon that live on the island. As we've come to expect by now, Ash saves the day, with Riley also playing a big part in defeating Team Galactic's plan. Once Team Galactic is defeated on Iron Island, Riley is asked by Professor Carolina to stay on the island and help analyze and study it. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this Riley, however, is that he's able to use Aura and is training to become an Aura Guardian. In the mainline Pokemon anime, Aura Guardians were an ancient group of people that all had the ability to use Aura. They used their Aura powers to help people, as well as train others who also had the hidden skill to use Aura. In the present day of the Pokemon anime world, we only know about two living trainers who are able to utilize Aura, Ash and Riley. While Ash decided to continue on with his Pokemon journey when he learned he had the ability to use Aura, Riley took the other route and devoted himself to becoming an Aura Guardian. In the anime, Aura users have similar skills to the manga Aura users, but they do have some abilities that are exclusive to the anime. In the episodes Riley appears in, we are able to see a couple things Aura can do, but here's a full list of what Aura can do in the anime. Aura users in the anime have the ability to read minds and actions of other people in Pokemon, the ability to sense or see other auras that are around them, even if their physical sight can't, the ability to activate time flowers, which allow people to see events from the past, and the ability to almost project aura and use it for attacks and barriers. Aura has many uses in the Pokemon anime, and because Riley is still in training to be an Aura Guardian, he can only utilize a few of these skills. When one becomes a full-fledged Aura Guardian, they can presumably utilize all the abilities of Aura. We've only seen one truly master Aura Guardian in the anime universe, and coincidentally, it also happens to be another counterpart of Riley. Sir Aaron has appeared only in the 8th Pokemon movie, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, and his appearance was fairly brief. We only see him in flashbacks, but from them we learn a lot about his character. He was a knight and aura guardian at Cameron Palace in the distant past, and acted as its protector. 
He also had a Lucaria, which he taught how to utilize aura abilities. Eventually, Sir Aaron left Cameron Palace to try and stop a war between two armies that, if kept fighting, would destroy Cameron Palace. In the heat of the battle, Sir Aaron sealed his Lucario and his staff, and then sacrificed his life in order to stop the fighting. Even though Riley and Sir Aaron have different names and lived at different times, I still consider Sir Aaron to be a version of Riley. They have so many similarities that it's almost crazy to say that they aren't counterparts to one another. They are both able to use Aura, they both have a Lucario, and their designs are incredibly similar, albeit Sir Aaron's is styled more like that of an ancient knight. Remember Riley's necklace design? That also appears in Sir Aaron's design as the pattern on his gloves. The last thing to note about Sir Aaron is that he's actually had two Pokemon TCG cards based off of him and his Pokemon. Surprisingly, his Lucario isn't a card, but there is a card of his Pidgeot and a card of his Aura. The Riley's Aura card allows the player to search their deck for an Aura Lucario, which is another promotional Pokemon card that has been given away in the past, and put it into their hand. And this wraps up another Pokemon character study. Riley is definitely one of the most unique characters in Pokemon. His ability to use Aura is something that we've seen very little of in the Pokemon universe, and it definitely makes him stand out. Him using only Pokemon that have high attack stats in the games is also something that is pretty interesting about his character. Thanks for watching this Pokemon character study, and I'll catch you later.